I'm quite a fan of the original Felix the Cat cartoons, so I was really keen to check out Felix the Cat Saves Christmas, largely because I just love Christmas animations. So I thought this might combine several things that I love, but I have to say, I should have paid attention to the overall rating on IMDb before I watched it because it's it's not great. Maybe for younger children or people who don't have certain expectations of Felix, it might be okay. But for me personally, while I can admire some things about it, I didn't really enjoy it. This was released in 2004, stripped by Don Oriolo and stars uh, the wonderful Dave Coulier as Felix the Cat. And I love Dave Coulier, so that's really awesome. And I will say, absolutely nothing wrong with the voice acting um, across the board. Other voice actors include uh, Jason Marston as the professor. We have Tom Bosley as Santa Claus, uh, Don Orleoli as Point Dexter. And the voice acting is very good. And the animation, well, I don't love the animation quality, but I love the colour palette. We have a lot of very bright, vivid colours that work very well. Everything just seems to pop on the screen at the right time. And that, I think, was really good. However, I feel like, and I'm trying to work out what exactly I don't love about the animation, and I think it's the lines, the lines on the drawings, the outlines of the characters, the outlines of objects. Not with Felix, but maybe that's because Felix is jet black, so you can't really see the outline of him. But I feel for some of the characters, at least, the outlines are just too thick. And they're they're just, I don't know, it's hard to describe. I mean, I'm not an animator. I don't necessarily have all of the vocabulary I need for this, but... I just didn't find it very appealing. Most of the characters' faces I didn't like, their facial expressions I didn't care for. But I will say, I quite like the design of Felix. They've managed to capture what makes Felix, the classic cat, um, cute and iconic with slightly sharper image quality. And I think they did a really good job of retaining that essence of Felix while making it look a little bit more contemporary. So credit where it's due, that worked. And the backdrops are okay. And, and as I said, we have a lot of great colour palettes. It's frosty and winty, wintry when it needs to be. It's bright and bold most of the time. But I, it is just the character, the human characters, the people characters, if you like. I just, I don't love the style of them. I don't love their facial expressions. With regards to the narrative itself, it's okay. Basically, the professor comes up with this machine that's going to create this horrific blizzard and it means Santa can't go and deliver the presents. However, Felix and Point Dexter, um, Point Dexter is not a character I was aware with, aware of before this. I don't know if he has any connection to the classic Felix cartoons. I haven't watched all of them. I've seen a good amount of them, but there, there are a lot of them. Um, but Felix and Point Dexter work together to go to the North Pole to try and save Christmas, which is absolutely fine. Uh, but other than that, I just didn't really care for it. I didn't think the narrative was that well developed. I didn't think the pacing was very good. It does feel Christmassy. It does have a lot of Christmas vibes in it. So credit where it's due. It is quite festive. The design of Felix is very good. The voice acting is very good. And I love Dave Coulier. So that made me smile. But in terms of being an enjoyable experience, it's not something I'd watch again. I might w watch bits and pieces of it if I want to see Felix or compare Felix here to classic Felix or indeed if I want to listen to Dave Coulier. But it's not something I can imagine watching again all of the way through. I wouldn't recommend it unless, well, unless it sounds like your kind of thing or if you're a fan of classic Felix. If you're a fan of classic Felix, it, it, there are some good bits in it and it's kind of interesting to see you know, such a beloved character in a more contemporary setting and a very festive setting as well. It didn't live up to my expectations, but I was watching it more for curiosity than entertainment, so I'm okay-ish with that, but it definitely isn't as good as what I was hoping for. Felix the Cat Saves Christmas has some good things, but it's far from perfect.